about it, those habits that ensnare you, you spend a lot of time and energy chasing after sin. Sin is a lot of work, but it's work that doesn't produce anything. Like the song said, this world has nothing. It amounts to nothing. Just like sowing seed, tilling the land, doing your farm work, and then when the harvest season comes, having nothing to show for it. This is the way sin is, and it can ruin our lives. But here's the good news. You see, most people know what John 3.16 says, but they overlook the next verse, John 3.17. Jesus said, God sent his son into the world not to judge the world, but to save the world through him. Jesus' message to you about your sin is not condemnation. Jesus' message to you is not you are dirty. Jesus' message to you is you are holy. You are forgiven. You are righteous. See, here's what's going on. Is we, without Christ in the center, without the Holy Spirit really filling us and, and really taking the place, that, taking this, that, that hole, filling that hole in our hearts, without that going on, we have a default setting in our life of bad feelings. I mean, it, I don't know about you, but when... That when I'm most tempted to sin, that's always when I'm alone, when, when I have nobody to talk to, when there's nothing going on, I'm bored, and I'm left with my default feelings. There's nothing but me and my thoughts. And I think that is the moment that everyone is most tempted to sin. Because if we feel bad, if what's going on between me and my thoughts is bad feelings, we've got to do something to help us feel better. And that's what everyone is trying to do. When we chase after a sin, it's we're always doing something to try to make ourselves feel better. And, and here's the ugly part of sin that we don't like to talk about. It actually works for a little bit. Sin feels good for a little bit. And I think if we're unable to admit that, then we'll keep going back to it. Let's, let's go ahead and get over it. Sin is appealing for a little while. But here's what sin does. It, it offers gratification. Gratification comes from the same root word as gratuity. That means to tip someone. You go to, out to eat at a nice restaurant, the, the server, waitress, waiter takes good care of you, and you leave a tip, that's called a gratuity. And here's the thing about gratuity. If you leave a good tip, that, that server, she's going to really appreciate that good tip. But you know what? She cannot make a living off that one good tip. In order for her to be taken care of, she has to get a tip, a good tip, and then another good tip, and then another good tip, over and over and over. And that's gratuity. And this is what sin offers us, this gratification. It's just enough to where we need more. We'll keep going back for more. The only, the only gratification is if we can keep getting it over and over and over and over. And this is the trap of sin. <laughs> it's not actually anything. It doesn't amount to anything. It's nothing. But it feels just good enough so that we come back to get it again, and again, and again. But what I want to point out is this. If you're always needing to feel better, if you're always needing to feel better, that means you are not feeling good already. And if you're not feeling good already, that something's missing. And that it's okay to be honest with yourself about that. If that time comes when you're all alone and you're left, it's just you and your thoughts. If you are not feeling good in that situation, we need to work on that. 
We need to bring Jesus into that situation. Because if you're not feeling good, you will always need to feel better. And that is when you will be tempted to reach out for sin. And when you reach out for sin, it makes you feel better for a little while. And then you're back to feeling bad, but you know that you can reach out to that sin again and feel better again and again and again and again. Drug users call this getting a fix. But friends, we got to realize if you need a fix, that means you're broken. If you're always needing to get a fix, that means you are broken. And I think, I think there's a better fix out there. You know, if you reach out for sin and get that fixed, but then you have to go back and get fixed again and again and again, that means the fix isn't really working. It's not. strong.